Hi, this is Nick and I'm with Atlantic Laser Scanning Services. Today we're going to continue our tutorial on collecting survey data with drone LiDAR units. In this video, Seth Barry from Global Hawk Maps is just finishing his data collection flight and is going to show us how to properly go into the app, shut down our data collection on the Hasai XT32 recipient unit prior to physically shutting the unit down and then disassembling it from the actual drone. You can do this. Now that it's finished, it did its figure eights, and it's starting to return to home. I paused it, went to my next mission, finished that mission so you can open up a new one. I hit play on my new mission, which was the mission plan that I planned in the first place. Once it went over, it started flying its mission. When it's done, we'll land and take a look at the data. After we stop our base station, we have to turn everything off and go through those steps, which we'll discuss in a second. All right, now that we got the mission completed, we're going to let this run static for at least 30 seconds. It's good for a minute, just 30 seconds is, is all you need. Now that we are in the phone again, I will show you, we are going to make sure we turn the Wi-Fi back on and we reattach to the Recepi unit. Okay, so it looks like once I turned it on already, it's going to be attaching directly to it. Once in a while, it'll choose the base first. It doesn't really matter. You just make sure and switch it back to the LiDAR unit. And then you open up your URL, 192.168.12.1. We're going to tell it to stop recording. It's ran its full static one minute. We have not turned off our base yet. Make sure you remember that. You always run the base starting it very first before you even set your drone up. You want to set up your base. The last thing you do, the very last thing you do, even after you put the drone away, everything, then turn off your base. Don't turn your base off until you're completely finished. You may, need to, you may need to take off and fly it again. You don't know. So the very last thing you do, if, for example, you've landed and finished your mission and you realize, oh, golly gee, I forgot to put the USB stick in. Now i got to fly it again. You didn't turn your base off. You haven't shut that down. It's collecting static data, so it's in good shape. Just make sure you do that last. Now that we've got it stopped, it shows start, which means that it is not running. We can go in, and if you want to double check, we can tap on storage, and it will show us our project. So we know it collected data. 6.4 gigs, as it was only a three and a half minute mission. That's exactly what we were looking for. So we're going to go ahead and disconnect from that and shut the drone down, and we'll get back with you. We've got our drone. We've got our data we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn this off you can do it through the wi-fi setting i prefer to do it right here i can physically know it's shut off hold it down for four to five seconds and you will see it turn off make sure you hit stop recording data before you shut it off don't ever shut it off first as the data might not store and you might lose everything you just collected then once it's turned off that's when you can remove the USB. We're gonna set that right here, right in front of me, or put it somewhere safe, your pocket, wherever, somewhere you know you're not gonna lose it. And then we start detaching things since we're done with our mission. And we'll be in good shape, and we'll see on the computer with the data, the very last thing you do again is turn off that base station. Put your drone away, put everything away, make sure you have the collected data on the USB drive, everything you've got, is good, then turn the base off. All right, we'll see you on the computer.